me finally, finally, of course, we are back with another course chain battle video. Um, but don't forget during this time, that is just like the last kind of maybe content ish for the six year anniversary for me specifically, though. Of course, late at night, super tired, so yeah, I've really been recording. It's a way of a long break, a way of a long break, from like what seven o'clock to eight o'clock for me. Um, from about seven to like nine, it's about, about an hour break ish. Um, I'm just kind of get the video out and done because it's like the last video I'm going to record for today. I, have, I don't think I have nothing else, else kind of ready to go. Um, I mean, just specifically, I'm mean, ready to record probably next couple, you know, probably next couple of days. Because then we've got Pokemon coming up soon, so I'll post some more stuff like that this week. Then we we'll probably mix. Everybody's been thinking about that. I have a video about this one. Not around here, but yeah. I uh, got just a little stupid stuff I'm kind of saying. So yeah, um, this is Mick Chain Battle Boss Forge. If you're right now, just want to kind of go over and go over it. Um, just again, like I said, it took a little bit of a longer break than I needed to. So just kind of like, you know, put X and move over. Can we just a little bit? Um, just kind of want to take a little bit more of a break because I've been recording really non stop since like 1 o'clock today. So for me specifically, 1 o'clock. So yeah. Um, of course, though, um, Chain Battle, you know, typical, typical stuff. If you do or something like that, I like to kind of cover and go over it. Uh, for Goldball, I just jump right in. I never got one for Goldball, which I completely threw over my head. Uh, again, I've been recording really all non-stop, so. Um, for me, though, like I said, I've been recording non-stop, so I didn't have, a, have like, a major, like, majorly, majorly break. I had a couple breaks there, though. So, yeah. Um, again, Chain Battle and stuff like that, if you knew and stuff like that. Yeah, I'm going for the six year anniversary. Really good, though. Kind of last second, though-ish, but, yeah. Again, these are only for JP. For Goldball, I just dropped the main gameplay. I, can, I tend to kind of do that. So yeah, um, of course, I mean, you tend to hear a table and units for the um, team battle and stuff like that, that's how it works. Um, and I think, yeah, art, SR, even the kids' character do count as well. Um, they have to be awakened though, they cannot be unfortunate, you know, and they're also, right, you can't, they have to be awakened and stuff like that. Art still count though as well, so yeah, awakened art and stuff like that do count. Battle energy, basically how much energy you can use a day, uh, you, can, you can recover one drink or something at a time. Um, again, like for example, you have like full bars when you first start, but when you jam a lot, you can use Dragon Stone to refill that, but you have to, you have to do it one at a time, you can't fill it all up in one go. So like, like for example, you have your first day one, all of it's gone, then like, you know, this comes right back. Um, to think of it, it comes like, you know, it comes right back, you can't use one side at a time, you can't be like, okay, I'm gonna refill all my energy back up all the way. No, you cannot, that's not, that, that's not how it works. You have attackers, of course the blue um, lighting right here, highlighting the mean, like this minute to ER. Um, and actually, the attacker is like, you know, you have your main attacker right here. Um, of course, you got these four units that help you stall out. So you can get the team battle energy. Of course, you can get full power. Or, of course, you know, so you can get charge. You can get full power. It, um, it basically increases more damage and stuff like that. Um, chain power, basically, how much, uh, kind of not how much units you have. But, yeah, depending on how many units you have. Um, that happens with chain power links, categories, all that counts as well. So that all factors in for the team battle specifically. Um, you have hero, the blue one, villain, the red one. So, of course, it does, it, it, it does differ which one you do. You know, the higher chain power, the more damage you do, the more damage output you get, the better, you know, and then uh, reward stuff like that you can make. Rewards you get. <sighs> the better rewards you get for chain battle. So, yeah. Of course, you got supporters, hero, and villain, though, respectively. Yeah, the heroes are way better because, you know, just way better hero units in the game. And villains is kind of a little bit lackluster, though, but this house kind of structured and stuff like that. Of course, you get the blue highlighting on it to symbolize it. Um, the connectors are basically, yeah, everybody who connects has energy and stuff like that. You know, categories, who are linked together and stuff like that. So, that's where your connectors are. Um, your advantage characters basically are, the basically the kind of units you have and stuff like that, of course. Um, Advantage characters have blue highlighting. It's kind of hard to see though because the screen is so small. They do with the resize size. It. Unless you're like on a tablet or whatever, it doesn't really count because the tablet's already made for that type of structure. Um, but we have blue advantage characters as blue. Blue and red both mean you can have advantage. Red means basically those characters are the main characters you want to use for the team battle. And blue, of course, means advantage. They'll, they'll both glow blue and red at the same time. Yeah, it'll be like blue and red. It'll have like a picture, like a little bit of purple in there. But yeah. Um, you got, of course, your ranking system, but kind of like the ranking pyramid, like what we're the better, higher, the more damage you do, the better units and stuff like that you have in the chain battle, the better you, um, essentially, the better you, I don't think we thought of that for a second. Okay, I don't know recording for a second. Sorry, I'm half tired right now a little bit, so, you can definitely tell. So, yeah, um, for your chain battle energy, of course, I mean, your, um, free breaking and stuff like that. Um, however, compared to the more damage you do, the better units you have, the better categories, all that stuff factors into chain battle. Um, it will all end up in here you know, the pyramid so right. The more damage you do, the higher you get, the higher you get, the better rewards, the rewards you get for chain battle. That's how simple it is. You get that battle log, basically how many likes you have, how many nice you have. You can use those to, um, you can send your friends nice or get nice in general back to you. And that factors in for you. Um, getting the new emblem, basically right here, the new emblem. 
I'm just gonna get for um, going to the barber shop, getting like basic chain battle equipment and stuff like that. Of course, I think Global has to update it so they got double rewards now. But chain battle, like double um equipment now, I believe for like a shaman. It, yeah, it's been a long time since I went over that. That was like back in what like November, October. So of course, you know, I, I forget about the type of thing. Not everybody's gonna remember everything on top of their head 24 seven. So I kind of get that as well. Um. Yeah, like I said, battle log and stuff like that, you can see your first nice, like, it's nice back to you. What you're on, after you're done doing a team battle, um, little, like, you know, team battle animation or playing team battle, you get rewards, you'll get the, um, nice symbol, you can pop up. I think for new people or old, but if it's like, if you send what, if you send one night, you can't send it again, so, yeah, there's a structure and stuff like that. Um, yeah, good, you yeah, have all that problem on one sheet, so yeah, that way you don't have to do all this. Um, basic rules and stuff like that do apply, yeah, attack, defense, stuff like that, square attack, those back in as well. Um, because vintage characters basically all simple rules stuff that I went over. Um, sports, of course, you know, you can buy time and stuff like that. Um, the number, it does go down. Yeah, it picks four hero, four villains. Um, randomly, though, ah, uh, your whole thing. It, it randomly picks it, though. Of course, you have advantage and disadvantage characters. Those can work as well together. But again, people, people will better like together, like categories, like, you know, units, equity, stuff like that. All that does link, in, link and factor in, though, of course. Um, of course, um, basically you saw the main character, you're fighting and stuff like that. You want to use three supports, of course. If you don't that, it's something within this, um, drained out time frame, they will select it for you, um, automatically. So, and, though, and the more you, t the faster you tap, the better, you know, damage output you do. It's all random, though, by the way. It's all pretty much almost all the same. We can close the app and come back. You can force close the app, not force close, but you can close the app, come back in, easy as pod. Press the app was really easy, you could just close it, you know, reopen it back up to that point. Um, missions basically some more sad, more you do chamber out, the better rewards you get, HP, the better, like, you know, just connecting, like, just getting your sports connectors up, are actually really simple and easy. Getting those, like, helps out your, um, overall, um, getting that helps out your, um, your mission and stuff like that. Just getting little stuff like damage and stuff like that, that helps out as well. Ranking rewards, basically, you know, all the rankings you get, like, World Tournament, you can get, like, ranking rewards at the end of it. That's pretty much it for Champ Battle, though, of course. Um, of course, I think the prices have changed a little bit, though. Um, these are all the missions stuff like that. These are all the JP missions right now. I think that changes up a little bit for this specific one right here. You have 5 million, 7 million. Yeah, it used to be a little bit higher, like 1.5 million. They changed it a little bit up, I guess, for like new players. But again, if you're like a new player, you're not going to really know about Team Battle like that. But for the anniversary, again, you're going to kind of forget, slash, you know, not go for all this type of things. Team so. Battle, though, for the um, missions, they're pretty simple, really easy to go through and stuff like that. They're really simple, really easy. You can get them done like, what, two, three days? It, like in a whole day, if you really know how to do the damage output. I mean, it's all just really random RNG. They're like everybody hates Team Battle now. I mean, the first time I actually did like it myself, it's completely different. I actually still do like it. I like the concept of it and stuff like that, but because it's completely different and new, but yeah, unfortunately. Um, I feel like it hit more, missed it more just a little bit. I feel like a lot of people just want to scrap it completely because it just. I feel like they're kind of setting up a fail now at this point because of the last Team Battle with Vegeta coming out. It was, you know, blah. So yeah. Um, these are all rewards again. Good sexiness. You don't have to get number one in one day. You don't have to do number one. I usually get number one. I think I got number one last time for the Goku. Um, so yeah, I feel like a lot of people really played that one. It was okay for global. Like it was, it was actually pretty simple and easy. Um, but again, there are like secret hidden units you can hidden units you can use. You know, like not the main units you can use, but you can go aside units you can get to have advantage. They're a little bit way better. Of course, that's how I have a chain battle cap also. Like you know, cell Frieza. We want to use those mainly though, of course. Um, the newest team battle for, of course, JP right now is, um, the one for 6th anniversary. You have Power of Revival, Rep Rep Reps of Universe 7, and of course, USS, or, you know, um, yes, us, <laughs> um, Universe of Revival 7. Um, these are all main units you want to use. You get all the free play ones, they're all simple and easy, you can grind them up really easy. Um, of course, like the 8, 18, 8, oh, 8, 17, um, the one that's by, um, look like by a punch right there. And you have Heath free play, um, you can use Angel Gordon Fraser's Heath free play, Master Roshi, of course, he's free play. Um, again, all the new units are kind of basically like, oh, if you didn't summon and get them, they're essentially like that. I know Goku and Freeze are the newest one. Um, they just got easy ace, you can use them. Kakumbu, Goku, Fushiro, Vegeta, LR is really good. Um, of course, they, again, they want you to pull like the new newest you are. I mean, you want Goku should be really easy, because, if, again, if you, been, if you haven't been playing Goku from now to the anniversary, um, maybe like a couple of months, like maybe five, six, seven months. Um, everybody should have them by now. I have them rainbow myself. I have like enough to pull, even like a separate copy, which I might just keep with the art, honestly. Um, or just extra team battle stuff that I, you know, doesn't really matter. Um, but yeah. Um, yeah, though, um, pretty much is like kind of like that, though. Again, like, since, I mean, again, new UI Goku's physical one down there over here. Guys, he's, yeah, so he's really good. Um, Goku could fit play one right there assigned. Again, you can run multiple with some things as a or now, so you can put multiple versions of them. Guess if we're lucky, you can go ahead and use it for these guys. Again, like I said, 
again, and then once you pull like new SLRs, you don't have to pull them to go on this done. You can easily just use what you're doing for seven. It's really easy. Because other characters are, again, the category to kind of factor in. I like if there were more characters from multiple categories, like Jai Goku, I think he's on all of these categories. So, um, he's going to be really good. Um, it is universal for all separate one of um, categories. Again, like I said, they may only use, you to use like freeze out of seventeen, like rubber zoom for seven units because they all because they're both put characters on the category. That does mean extra damage and stuff like that. Um, I believe so that helps them out as well. Um, again, like I said, this is Universal Evolve Saga. We are seeing this. This is insane right here. So, yeah, I, I don't need to explain anymore. Kelm Cliff are on here. Do I go through? But they mainly want, they mainly want you to use Rips in Universal 7 specifically. The both the characters in the categories, again, help out for damage output. Um, this is for Universal 7, I hope, right? Yeah, again, this category just got so much updates with this anniversary. I'm glad because it went from like Piccolo to this guy to all of this. Then, like, what? The last, like, honestly. Well, last couple months from last year, um, beginning May, probably, or further than that, probably, yeah, May, April, to, no, it, May, it was May, because JP started getting kept for then we got, like, Jerry into December, um, I for Global, they got that, because I know he just came out for Global and stuff like that, it came out in July, for, yeah, because they, they attended Baga, so that came out for JP in July, um, because that's when Blue Fusions came back. Oh, they had a little stuff too. Um, I can't think of it right now. Um, can't think of it. Um, he did a ton of just with his ass. Again, this category just got like, and just in general. This is just like, you know, for the purpose of 7, that got a, just a big buff. And of course, this is a revival power in Vegeta's new category is leading. Basically, everybody who's been beaten in the format came back. I think just stronger and stuff like that. Or just came back. Just came back. Cook up being in the format came back. Goku and Vegeta makes sense because go, Gogeta. Um, Bark makes sense, came back, got beat, came back, so Super Saiyan, Ultimate Gohan, got beat by Boo, almost got killed by Boo, literally almost got killed, came back with Ultimate Gohan. Again, makes sense, Jiren technically didn't really get beat, but he got slammed and came back, but the evolution of Vegeta makes sense. Yeah, Goku also doesn't make sense. I mean, yeah, because Goku's almost beaten and he came back. Gogeta makes sense, all, all the Gogeta's kid Goku got beat by Demon King Piccolo once, came back. Yeah. I guess this guy just has, like, yeah, Gohan. He did, yeah, no, he didn't really get beat and came back, but he. He kind of got beat down a little bit came back. Again, all it just literally Bardock, Goku, Gohan. Ugh, they just 16. Oh, they sucks. No, don't, don't use them on the same battles. So yeah. Maybe the last Saiyans units were like on here. A lot of Vegeta's, Goku, they were on here. Bardock's, but again, mainly represented for 7. Because again, all those categories and links. I mean, the categories kind of. Links kind of don't. But I mean, the links don't really send a job these guys. But I mean, no, they do because they have like kind of power. Um, they're just like shocking speed, perfect battle. A lot of same units are gonna link together well. Um, someone like Jiren probably won't link as well, but he can possibly still use them in comedy other options. Um, like I said, all Goku and Vegeta, all same are gonna link together well, so a lot of people can immediately prioritize for that. Or Drip's Universe 7 in general, because they have like shocking speed, solid support, you know, the new LS has solid support, shocking speed, prepare for battle. Um, and I've heard about Fierce Battle. Um, Fierce Battle, um, can't think of the rest though. I know Fierce Battle. Um, Pierce Battle, um, Pierce Battle, ooh, I can't figure it right now, um, Cell Support, Shining, yeah, again, I forgot, yeah, I gotta go in video here for sure, um, just because, um, you know, all those stuff right here is just plausible, simple, easy, clean, straight to the point, um, but yeah, like, you know, the things are gonna lead together, you know, you got hidden news on here, they're really good for all the categories, yeah, they're all gonna be on here anyway, though, mainly, mainly just, you know, I'll give you first of all, so I could give in general. So, yeah, gonna go ahead and video here for sure. So, guys, there, though. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, great life. All good, you can know. Make sure you wash your hands, God bless all you. If you're going out, always plan to wear a mask, cut your support, get rid of it, and you do. Play that support as Team Battle. Do you like it? Do you hit it? I still do like Team Battle as a content. But at this point, I thought you are saying that the mode failed. Like, this one shouldn't be as hard because, you know, the newest anniversary units and all that, you know. Again, like I said, the news anniversary units. Um, did I? Okay, I messed up there a little bit. Um, yeah, so like all the new anniversary units, I gotta fix my line a little bit there. Um, fix all the anniversary units and stuff like that. Um, like I said, all the new anniversary units, all the new, just again, USS, just got a big update for last year now. Really good, straight to forward. Jaren's face looks really weird for me. So, see you guys later though, again though. Peace out.